So, I was robbed. Well, hello everybody, Spazzy W here, your Arkansas Picker, and today I'm checking out the Central Station Flea Market, but today I'm not checking it out as a buyer. I'm checking it out as a seller. So today I'm gonna have to bring some stock in to put into my booth, and let me just show you some of this stuff. I have most of my higher price of things already in there, so this is kind of just some other stuff. There's a PS3, a uh, N64, then just a bunch of random games. Most of these are in the like 10 to $20 range. But um, yeah, we about to go stock up. Oh, I got some smile you're on camera signs. I'm about to tell y'all about this. This is it, this is the picker booth. Now you'll notice that there's nothing in this case right now. And let me tell you why. So I actually bought this booth on March 2nd. Um, and then I started moving stuff into it. I moved all my expensive stuff into it. And I had a lock on my display case. Somebody came in, grabbed the lock and just broke it right off with their hand. Uh, they, it, it broke the wood, not the lock. And they stole five, they stole over $530 worth of stuff. Hold on to the end of the video. I'm gonna sit down and give you an entire storyline on that. But just know that all my stuff was stolen. I got it back through an insane process. But now that I do have it back, let's restock this booth. So when you come to my booth, you will see my hand-painted um, display case. I hand-painted the straps on that. And the first case is gonna have most of my expensive stuff. Right now, it's a little bare bones because I forgot an entire box of stuff at the house. And then before you even enter the booth, you go right here, and these are all my $5 games. These are just games that are worth about five bucks. What I do is I, I stamp a $5, well, that was a seven, but almost, 99% of these are five. Um, if it's worth five bucks or if it's just something that I don't think needs to be put back in the case, I'll put it up here. So we got PlayStation 1, we got a Wii game, PS2, PS3, Xbox 360 and Xbox, Xbox One. There's a few Series X in here. We got some toys. Uh, toys and plushes have sold really good so far. Right over here is some of my vintage clothes. Most of them's vintage. Some of them's new stuff that just, you know, is vintage, um, you know, looking. So over here are my games that range from like $7 up to like $19. These are games that are good enough to put behind a case, but not bad enough to put out and will get stolen. <laughs> but, um, a lot of a lot of good games but you know it's those games that don't really go for a whole lot come to the central station flea market in benton arkansas when you walk in the front door go right there's a street named donna go down it and look for the game room sign that's me let's go home and talk about how all my stuff got stole how i recovered it and who did it i had extremely high hopes for a flea market i was excited to do it a flea market booth is actually something i've been wanting to do for a very very long time but i've never had the stock and there never was a really good place in my town to do it well i found a good place uh, they just moved in it's a big place so um you know i was like let's give it a try now this story is the story's convoluted and it might take me a minute to gather my thoughts and get everything in order but here it is. I bought a booth at this flea market on March 2nd. The way that it works is you can buy a booth that already has walls and stuff put up, or you can do it yourself. I wanted to do it myself. I wanted to make a unique booth that looked different from all the others, and I wanted it to kind of look like a mini game store. Like when you walked into it, it almost kind of looked like a game store, but it was 
in a 10 by 10 section, you know? So that's what I did. I put walls up and I put flooring down. I put shelves in it. I bought display cases. So I had all of this in my booth, but I didn't have stock in it yet. The first thing I started with was $5 games. I just, I had a bookshelf and I put $5 games in it. These $5 games were selling very well. Um, people love the $5 games and I honestly, I hadn't noticed anything getting stolen yet because I knew stuff was gonna get stolen. I knew stuff was gonna get stolen. That's just how it is, especially $5 games out on the shelves. I didn't notice anything getting stolen. And uh, so I was like, well, I have my display cases. It's time to maybe put some more expensive stuff in here and see if that stuff moves. I just bought this huge lot from my buddy Joseph. If y'all haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link to it down below. But I bought some amazing stuff from my buddy Joseph. And I was like, it's time to sell it, let's do it. I bought locks for my display case and I put this nice stuff in there. This nice stuff included consoles, Nintendo Switch games, CIB, Sega games, CIB, PS1 games, some Xbox 360 games, just a, anything that was over like $20 I put in here because uh, I wanted it to be straight up, right in front. When people walked by, they saw expensive stuff and they went, ooh, this guy's got cool stuff. So these display cases didn't come with locks. I had to retrofit locks onto them. So I bought these locks off of Amazon and what they did is you put them onto the sliding doors on the back and they're just on, and they're only supposed to go on with pressure. You're supposed to just pressurize them on there. But I didn't think that was safe enough. So what I did is I drilled holes into the wood and actually drilled them into the wood. Now, with that being said, it's particle board, not wood. It, it's, it's, wood's just an easy way to say it, but it's particle board, it's press board. So I put this expensive stuff in it and then I went and bought cameras. But the next day, it was my birthday and I didn't wanna go to the flea market booth and set up cameras all day for my birthday. So um, I was like, well, I'll just do it, I'll, I'll do it Sunday. So that was a Friday night expensive stuff in there everything's locked up everything's good but no cameras so the next day it was saturday march 23rd and it's my birthday and i was on my way to my birthday party it wasn't at my house it was at a i rented out an arcade so we were going to this arcade and i had my arkansas picker banner in the back of my car and I was like, I'm going to stop in and put my banner up. That way people will know, hey, this is the Arkansas Picker booth. So I just swung in. It would take me but a second to nail it up. I swung in and I walked in and um, I didn't notice anything stolen yet. And then somebody asked to see something behind my display case while I was there. And I was like, absolutely. And then I went to open up the display case and the lock was gone. Not the lock, but like the entire locking mechanism was gone. So after I noticed my locking mechanism was gone, I looked over and I looked into my booth. My PlayStation 4 was gone. My Nintendo Switch games were all gone. Pretty much any game that was like over $25 was gone. So um, I immediately went into absolute freak out mode and I'm not gonna lie, the ladies and gentlemen that worked at that flea market did not deserve what I did to them because um, I was absolutely going insane. I couldn't understand personally how somebody walked out of the front door holding a PS4 <laughs> console. Okay, it's it, it was absolutely baffling to me. Games are easy to conceal, especially Switch games. These were, all these Switch games were in their case but they're Switch games. You know, the cases are that little. They're easy to conceal, especially if you're wearing a jacket. You can put them in all your pockets. The PlayStation 4 really, really got to me in a, in a weird way. I was like, how did y'all let him walk out with the PlayStation 4 or her, whoever it was? So I filed a police report and everything that was expensive in my booth, I called my wife. I said, stop by and bring me some boxes. We're taking everything out of my booth that's over $5. 
And I did. Everything that was over five bucks, I took out. And I only left five dollar games. Without my stuff being fortified, I wasn't going to leave anything worth stealing that I didn't want to be stole. The next day, the detective calls me. Actually, it was Monday that the detective called me. Um, and... I told him straight up that I don't really believe in the justice system that well when it comes to cops looking for stolen stuff because why would they care about my $500 worth of stuff stolen whenever they got other stuff going and I, I just told him I was like I don't think anything's gonna happen I appreciate you calling me but this is obviously a waste of your time and he was like well I hope not but we'll, we'll see how it goes because I didn't think anything was gonna happen with the police I made a post on Facebook. Now, Arkansas has a retro gaming community. It's got like 2,000 people in the Facebook group, but it's pretty much where I met everybody that y'all see me hang out with. It's, it's where I met uh, B Big Money Bowman, my buddy Josh that I buy stuff from. That's where I met him. Joseph, the dude that I just bought stuff from, That's I met him through that Facebook page. If you're in Central Arkansas and you haven't joined it yet, I'll try to leave a link in the description so that uh, if you want to come hang out with us, you can. Anyways, in that Facebook group, I put a list of everything that was stolen. And I was like, hey guys, if y'all see this on Marketplace, let me know because I figured that whoever it was, they'd probably try to sell it on Marketplace and piece it out. I posted that on a Monday. And then Wednesday, I got a message from a gentleman named Rico. And Rico said, hey man, what was this game for? As in, what console was this game on? It was uh, Ninja Gaiden Black. He was like, what console was it for? And I texted him back and I said it was for the original Xbox. And he messaged me back and he said, I think I just bought your game at GameStop. And he sent me a picture of it. Well, it was it. That It was my game 100% um, because it had old uh, stickers on it that I couldn't get off and it, th that game had the stickers on it. And this happened while I was at work, so obviously I couldn't do anything. But I called my detective and I said, hey man, um, I think all my stuff is at the GameStop in the town over. And uh, while I was at work, Rico did not have to do this at all, but Rico went up to GameStop and helped them find all my stolen games. Rico used to work at GameStop, so he still was friends with everybody that works there. So he went up there and he found all my Switch games, he found my PS4, um, and he found the other games that were like loose that, uh, that, that was stolen. Um, out of the kindness of his heart, I've never met him, he's never met me. He literally only did it because he was my only contact with this store. He was nice enough to go do this for me. And I didn't ask him to do it. He just did it out of the kindness of his heart. Rico, you're an angel sent by God. So the detective that I was talking to got a warrant, went up there and got my stuff. And guys, this stupid idiot that stole my stuff went to GameStop on Monday and sold it all together in one big lot. If you're stealing stuff, this is just a pro tip. Uh, don't sell it all together the way you stole it. <laughs> Stupid. So stupid. At GameStop, when you sell stuff, you have to give them your driver's license. So they have this guy's age, address, name. They have, every, they have absolutely everything that you could have on somebody. So the detective was like, hey man, this is who stole your stuff. Um, we can get him for theft by receiving because we know that it's stolen and he sold it, but we don't have proof that he stole it. But the detective was like, he stole it because we know this guy and he definitely stole it. He said, what we need you to do is if you can put him in the flea market Friday evening, we can get him for theft of property and uh, property damage because he broke my stuff to, to get into my case. Here's the next way Facebook helped me. There is a Facebook group for vendors that vend at my flea market booth. And I commented in there and I said, hey, I had some stuff stolen. If anybody has video footage Friday night from like, 3 p.m. to uh, close, because that's when the stuff was stolen. If y'all have video from then, I'm looking for a dude in his mid-30s. Um, he's got a gray beard. He's got grayish on his beard, rather. And uh, he might be holding some games or something. He stole my stuff. Guys, this idiot, this dummy, dude, he's... <laughs> The d I got lucky and I got the dumbest criminal on the planet, I guess. 
he walked into a booth and stuffed the games into his pockets. Um, the booth was owned by a cop. The, uh, n not, not the cop, but the cop's girlfriend messaged me and she was like, Hey, here's a video of him uh, stuffing games into his pocket. And I watched the video and I was like, that's it. And I sent it to my detective and the detective was like, we got him. Legally, I don't think I can say his full name and all that good stuff because there still has to be uh, a lot of, because there's a lot of stuff that still has to happen. But I'm gonna post a picture of him and it's right here. This is him. Um, he's like 36 years old. He's a drug addict from what uh, I can conduct from uh, what I was told by the police. And uh, he does this all the time. This picture of him is not from the flea market. This picture of him is from when he stole stuff a few weeks ago from Walmart. He broke into a glass display case and he stole a bunch of jewelry. I kind of feel sorry for him because dude's out here mid thirties stealing video games, but that's what drugs do to you guys. That, that's, just, that's just one of those things, you know? So I met with the detective and I got my stuff back. I got everything except a few games back because GameStop sold them before everything was figured out. So I was missing a few games. But out of the $530 that got stolen, I got about $480 of worth of stuff back. So I'm not complaining at all. I didn't think I, I was even gonna get that back. I, I considered all that stuff a loss, you know? W what's gonna happen? What do we do from here? And he said, so, they're gonna put a warrant out for his arrest. They're gonna put a, I think you call it a AB, APV out for his vehicle. I don't know what those stand for, but they're gonna be looking for his vehicle. They know what he drives, his license plates in the system. They're gonna be looking for him. He said, what's gonna happen is if they find him, they're gonna bring him in for questioning. He said that he's probably gonna deny everything. And if he does that, then we'll have to set a court date. And literally we're gonna have to show all the evidence and show the court that this guy actually is guilty of stealing all this stuff, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. Like, I hope he doesn't deny it all because it's extremely obvious. We have so much footage and proof, and if he drags us out, which he probably will, that's gonna be dumb, but it's fine. It ain't gonna cost me anything, really. And I was like, I got my stuff back. I don't care how long this takes, but uh, I absolutely do want him prosecuted. I got cameras. I extra super fortified my display case, which y'all y'all saw that earlier in the video. And the flea market moved me up closer to the front because I was in the back. And the flea market was extremely understanding and they gave me a few incentives like moving me up further and a few other things to help ease the pain of all my stuff getting stolen because they can't reimburse me. So obviously I'm going to stay at this flea market. My booth looks amazing and I'm stocking it full of stuff. I'm adding more and more stuff every single day. April 20th, 420 y'all. I'm gonna do a grand opening. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring a bunch of stuff, like stuff that won't even fit in the display cases. I'm just gonna bring boxes of stuff for sale and I'm gonna sit at the booth all day and just hang out. If you're in central Arkansas, I would love for y'all to come hang out. Also, if I can swing it, because things are weird, um, I might try to do a sale that day. I have to do that through the flea markets like system and um, I, I'm not sure how that works yet but I'm gonna try to do a sale maybe 10 or 20 percent off whatever I can handle you know but please come check it out come 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 look at all the cool stuff that I have I have nice stuff I've cool stuff I curate my stuff I don't order pallets of random stuff from you know China to unload I, I, I'm not a drop shipper I don't sell reproductions. My stuff is real, it's tested, and I would love for y'all to come look at it. Guys, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for the support. I wanna thank Rico. I wanna thank the Arkansas Retro Gaming Community. I wanna thank everybody on Instagram that reached out to me, all my friends, uh, the Retro Beard, uh, Devin, Retro Wolf 88, Heather, just, I, I, can, I can keep on going on and on because so many people reached out to me and you know, was and, and tried to help me, and I, I really, really appreciate it. Guys, thank y'all for watching. I love y'all. Don't get your stuff stolen, and uh, y'all keep picking.